Hi, I'm Phil Cummings and I'd love to read my latest book to you. It's called Boy, illustrated by Shane DeVries and published by Scholastic Press. Once there was a king who lived high on a hill. His castle looked over the valley to the mountains beyond. He was a powerful man with many brave knights. The mountains were once rich with trees, but a powerful dragon had destroyed much of the forest with his fiery breath. In a small village on the edge of the burnt forest lived Boy. Boy couldn't hear, but he was happy. He spoke with dancing hands and drew pictures for people in the sand. His parents loved his stories, but the villagers didn't understand. What a strange child, they would say as they walked on by. Since the forest had been burnt, the king and the dragon had fought many fierce battles. There was roaring, flapping, running about, hiding, dodging, weaving, and a lot of shouting. Boy couldn't hear the battle cries, but he had seen the fear in his mother's eyes and felt it in his father's hand when he held him close. The battles were loud and long, but no one ever won. One day, when the king and the dragon were battling once more, Boy ran right into the middle of it all. The knights were stunned. Move, they shouted. Get out of the way, Boy, ordered the king. Roar, bellowed the dragon. But, of course, Boy couldn't hear them. Flames flared from the dragon's nostrils. The knights waved their swords frantically as they marched over to Boy. Why aren't you listening? shouted the king. Boy was surprised when he looked up and saw them all. He watched them for a moment, then made his hands dance. The knights were flabbergasted. The king was puzzled. The dragon was mystified. Boy could see that they didn't understand him. So he took a sword and wrote in the sand, Why are you fighting? There was silence until suddenly the king pointed at the dragon. He started it, he cried. He burnt our forest. The dragon shook his head. It was an accident, he roared. I sneezed a fireball into the trees. I came to say sorry, but your knights chased me away. The knights pointed to the king. He told us to, they cried. The king looked up at the dragon. Well, I thought you were coming to take my castle, he said. Your castle is far too small for me, the dragon replied. All I want is for you to stop chasing me. I don't like being scared. Nor do we, chorused the knights. Boy drew a picture of everyone in the sand. He showed them how their days could be without fighting and fear. There was a lot of chatting and laughing. I promise the knights won't chase you anymore, said the king to the dragon, and you can visit my castle whenever you like. And I will cover my nose when I sneeze. A boy couldn't hear a word, but he didn't need to. Back in the village, everyone was waiting 
to see boy. Thank you, they said with dancing hands. Boy.